Hey guys, just uh, putting together a little video to go over the happenings of the weekend. Uh, as many saw Saturday, I was over here at the shop working and doing the plumbing on the silver mullet and uh, trying to get the fuel system wrapped up. And uh, kind of based out of necessity of what we had in stock, I grabbed a forged 90 degree fitting to supply from the fuel pump to the regulator log. and. Uh, didn't give it a thought. I've plumbed plenty of stuff and didn't give it a thought, but obviously uh, based on the comments and some of the, the chatter, some guys gave it some thought. So uh, I wanted to come over during the weekend, but I just never got a chance. So today, uh, late in the day here, we're kind of getting caught up and I got with the guys and I said, we've got to do a little test based on uh, the swag theory and uh, see if we can put this to rest about this 90 degree fitting. Well, of course, my guy said, what the hell's the swag theory? I said, we gotta take some wild ass guess and uh, see if we can quantify this and help people out and understand that when properly sized and stuff set up right, a 90 degree fitting, for goal a 90 degree fitting especially, will not be the end of the world. Um, so I went downstairs and uh, I, got a, I got an AN plug from our one of our main lines and based off flow information that I had, I took a guess at it, poked a hole in it, and uh, essentially my goal was to flow 495 pounds an hour. I, I came up with that number because let's just say, you know, our engine in that car makes roughly 1100 horsepower and let's just for round numbers say on a brake specific of 0.45. So it needs about 495 to 500 uh, pounds an hour of fuel. So that was just a quick number that I figured a lot of people could relate to and uh, figured it was a pretty good quantity that if a 90 degree fitting was going to affect it we could do it so anyway we threw this fitting up in here we've got it running through the flow meter and uh, basically that's all the fuel for sake of conversation you need for 1100 horsepower and uh, you know on the flow meter you'll see it just a little over 500 pounds an hour so so based on that, that, that gave us a close baseline to, to what our goals were. Obviously straight through, no other fittings, no hose ends, nothing. And that gave us our uh, idea and our baseline to test our Forge 90. So just to have a little extra fun, we figured, what the hell, let's try three. That's really got to kill it. And if we're going to kill it, we might as well kill it. So we grabbed us up three of these Fergola Forge 90s. We bolted them all together. Whoops, I grabbed the wrong wrench. Gotta wonder how I bolted them together. Got that on. We're gonna take our same handy dandy plug. We're gonna choke this bad boy. I mean, 390s, Forge 90s, gotta kill it. So, we put some bad boys in there. We flipped on that fuel pump. Got her shooting fuel, and then right away again, I looked at that flow meter, and wow, still a little over 500. Hmm, guess those uh, Forge 90s aren't quite as bad as some people thought they would be. And uh, that's what tech's about, you know, learning, showing people, and uh, having a little fun. You know, that, that's the purpose of this video is just to let guys know. I mean, when you properly size things, these cars have a tendency to be over pumped and over fueled and, and all that anyway. And uh, so it didn't concern me. You know, just so nobody else thinks we did anything. <laughs> these, are, these are not no special smoke and mirrors radiuses got snuck in them or anything. These are just, I went down to the bin and grabbed them just for the sake of kind of showing guys what we got there so uh, anyway just thought uh, you know it's easy to talk about things but I like to kind of quantify it and luckily we have the means to test a lot of different things and uh, I thought that would clear up some of the uh, questions about the fitting and maybe help some guys going forward with their fuel systems and whatnot but uh, it's something we do every day we enjoy doing it and uh, hopefully this will help guys understand that that uh, that fitting wasn't as bad as they thought so Appreciate everybody uh, taking a peek. We appreciate everybody's input, and uh, hopefully this helps some guys out. Thanks.